Uh, Will, thanks very much for joining us. You've signed for the York Knights. How delighted are you to have signed here at the club and, uh, yeah, be getting started from 2024? Yeah, very happy. Um, obviously, I've seen a little insight to what the club's got to offer and where the club's going uh, with me working with the women. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be here and, you know, hopefully we can um, have a good season this season and, you know, try pushing top, top of the table again. Yeah, just talk us through how this move came about and yeah, how the move to the Knights uh, started, really. Uh, yeah, um, obviously speaking with Clint, um, with me being with the women, um, he, he says he's been keeping an eye on me um, and how I've been playing. And him and Endo liked the way that I was playing, so yeah, they, they reached out and put an offer in. And you know, I had a quick chat with them and spoke to them on what they're looking like for the future and how they're wanting the club to progress. And it, you know, it, it all seemed exciting, um, and yeah, like I'm excited to be here and you know try and take the club where it needs to be. Mm. You obviously mentioned your involvement with the women's side. I guess how much of an insight has that given you into, I guess, not just the obviously the women's team, but the, you know the entire club and and the project here at York. Yeah, it's massive. Um, you know what Clint's done for for the women's team. Um, you know, he's, he's done a great great amount with, uh, for them, um, and obviously, you know from what they've done this year um, I'd like to be able to potentially do that with the, with the men's as well um, but yeah like obviously he's it's, it's done everything and the, the you know the women are thankful for it and obviously just seeing that little insight and you know it got me excited to to want to play for Knights. What have you made of the Knights looking on from the outside obviously such a fantastic run at the back end of last season to reach the playoffs at the end of the year under Hendo? Yeah, pretty, um, from watching, pretty ruthless. They're a ruthless team. They know they never back down, never give in. They're always um, fighting till the last second. Um, and I think that that that's kind of how I like to play. You know, it, it, we might not beat a team in first half. We might get them in the last couple of seconds. Um, and as long as the team's willing to fight and they're willing to work hard for each other, you know, I think a team can do pretty pretty well on that. And um, you know maybe just a couple of fine-tuning things. I know it's obviously Endo's first year and he's wanting to, um, you know, change pro probably one or two things and, yeah, just happy to work with Endo and the squad and hopefully we can, we can push top of the table again. Yeah, and on a personal note, hoping to nail down a spot at full-back for 2024, I guess that's the plan, I, I imagine? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, you know, my work's only just started. Um, obviously a new team, new faces, uh, new personnel, you know. I just need to get a good pre-season and, you know, prove to Endo like that I'm worthy of it. Um, and you know, no shirts ever given to you. You need to work for it, and I'm willing to do that. Just finally, how much are you look forward to running out at the LNR as a as a player and uh, playing in front of the Knights fans in 2024? Yeah, yeah, can't wait. Um, you know, the city and the culture is massive, um, and yeah, the the following we've got is even bigger. Um, yeah, we, we, we come. I come to watch the Batley game here, and unfortunately we we lost. But you know the support and everything um, of the city and all the fans and everything like that. Yeah, can't wait.